in the midst of a war that is happening between Russia and Ukraine, the Lord has put it upon my heart as I was praying and revealed a lot of things. The first thing that the Lord said we should pray for was the president of America. I saw him being airlifted. He was not feeling well. And the Lord said we should pray because there is a complication that is about to happen to him. The Lord said we should pray for the president of America. The Lord said we should pray for the president of America. The second thing that I saw, to, to, to my surprise, I, I, I saw the president of the president who is the current president of Ukraine. What surprised me, I saw him being in a bunker as if he was hiding. I saw him like being in a bunker as if he was hiding. I saw everything intensifying to a point that he had to hide in a bunker. We need to pray that God protects his life and that whatever that is happening in those nations, it can be resolved in peace. That is the reason why we are here as believers to come to a place where we pray and nations be saved. So we have to pray for the, the, the war that is happening between Russia and Ukraine. And we have to pray for the vision that I saw of the president of America. Very devastating. But I believe that God is going to bring us to a place where we are going to see healing. We are going to see um, the president of America being healed. While at least I was praying for for the nations, um, Russia and Ukraine, uh, I saw an uprising. There was a strike that happened. It was a revolt. It a march. They called them protests. There was a protest that was about to happen in the nation of Russia. There was a protest that was about to happen in the nation of Russia. And I saw soldiers that were wearing it was like a gray uniform. I don't know if that the, the uniform they, they wear, but it was like a gray uniform. I saw them surrounding the the towns. I saw them being all over. And it did not the 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 revolt or whatever the gathering, it did not take long because they were dispersed. But we need to pray that in the event of these events happening, may lives be saved. May they come to a place where lives are saved. I believe that as we pray, God is going to bring peace. We pray for peace. We pray that nations be saved in the name and the blood of Jesus. Whatever battle that has been happening between these nations, we speak salvation in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and we know beyond any doubt that the glory and the grace of the Lord is going to be seen. We pray for nations to be saved. We pray for peace and we pray beyond any doubt that we are going to see the end of the Lord being lifted. God bless you. God be with you in the name and the blood of Jesus. You are blessed.